Trump just called for huge new rule effective now that will recall anti-American NFL players. The NFL needs guidance. We know it, they know it, and the disgruntled fans sure know it. The inmates are running the asylum and the league has, before now, been shrugging it off with a boys will be boys attitude and things have gotten out of hand. They might not be willing to admit it, but the league is basically like that frustrated parent who's watching their child throw a tantrum in the candy aisle, and no matter what they do about it, there's going to be a backlash. They might not be willing to admit it, but the league is basically like that frustrated parent who's watching their child throw a tantrum in the candy aisle, and no matter what they do about it, there's going to be a backlash. If you've ever been that parent, you know that your fondest wish in that moment, assuming there aren't any available holes to crawl into, is for someone to just come tell you what to do. Well, it's the NFL's lucky day, because the leader of the free world is telling them what to do, and he's obviously ready to back them up if they'll do it. The NFL is hemorrhaging money since this insane protest cranked up, and the league is losing hundreds of millions, if not billions between lost advertising dollars and federal subsidies that may be cut. They need a game plan that will get their players in line, and the POTUS has given them one. TMZ reported on what the president recommends to cure the NFL's money problems. Donald Trump just sent a message to Roger Goodell, saying kneeling during the national anthem should no longer be an option, it needs to be a league rule. Trump continued his Twitter attack against kneelers Tuesday morning, first, saying the booing at the Monday night football game was the loudest I have ever heard, due to the Dallas Cowboys protest. Great anger, Trump added. Then, a message aimed at Roger Goodell. The NFL has all sorts of rules and regulations. The only way out for them is to set a rule that you can't kneel during our national anthem. We're reaching out to the NFL for comment. But the multiple statements from NFL team owners over the weekend suggest they would not support that rule. Since the NFL and the teams that play in it are businesses run by individuals with their own freedoms, obviously the president can't tell them how to run their business. His recommendations are coming from a place of advising. This particular president is somewhat overqualified to comment on the subject since he's not only the president but a successful businessman himself. It's doubtful that he amassed a large fortune by ticking off his customers, but hey, what does a billionaire know about it? According to Downtrend, the reluctance of the league to cater to the largest portion of their fan base may be about more than just business. Despite the fact that it's costing them dearly, they may decide on principle that they don't want to take the advice of their former homeboy who left the warm embrace of the uber-rich to help the country out for a while. If they do though, it would be a big mistake. It's hard to imagine the race baiting left becoming even more unhinged about President Trump's comments blasting the disrespectful conduct of those who kneel for the national anthem but a new tweet is sure to up the irrational hatred and outrage. Following Monday night football's choice by the entire Dallas Cowboys football team to hashtag knee before the playing of the national anthem. Trump was quick to resume his jabs at the taxpayer-subsidized entertainment Goliath NFL. The POTUS is now calling for the league to implement a rule prohibiting players from not standing during the Star-Spangled Banner. President Trump is saying something that many Americans have expressed as well, if they can come up with a series of rules regarding a coin toss, why not this? Again, they don't have to, but if they don't they'll be thumbing their nose at the people and country that made them what they are. Ironically, it may have been that the Cowboys themselves were the inspiration for this idea when they chose to kneel in advance of the song and then stood with arms locked for the actual anthem. If Dallas can choose to not dishonor the flag then why shouldn't their example be followed by all kneelers? Better yet, they can kneel in the locker room while their more honorable teammates take the field to pay tribute to the country that made them rich and famous. If they can't accept that, then they can just quit and try going out to actually work for a living. There are so many great options to eliminate the offensive and disrespectful display that these players are engaging in, and anyone with two brain cells to rub together could come up with a reasonable one. No one is suggesting that the NFL take away a citizen's right to protest, we're just suggesting that they take the camera's fan-funded cameras off of them since that's not what the fans want to see.
the NFL has been given an ultimatum by the president and by their fans, do something about your players or go bankrupt. The ball is in their court, let's see what they do about it.